Hi again, welcome to the studio. So today I'm thinking Amsterdam. It's sunny, it's spring here in the United States, and one of my favorite travel destinations in the spring is Amsterdam. But of course, because of our pandemic that's going on, I won't be able to travel there. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a painting, a large painting in just blues and whites, see if we can't get kind of a, a Holland feel to that. And my family thinks I'm a little crazy, but I'm going to try a pour through a Parmesan cheese bottle that has three holes coming out at one time. I'm going to stack this. I have no idea how it's going to come out, but let's have fun with it. Okay, to share with you what I'm doing today, I have a 24 by 36 canvas. I've prepared it just like I would a smaller canvas, taping off the back, pushing down the tape, just so if I have any spillover, it does not leak onto my canvas underneath. Easier to get it to come off. And um, then I take the tape off when I'm done painting and resining. So I'm using Liquitex products only today, the pouring medium, the, uh, let's see, what's this one? Phalo Blue, Titanium White, and I have them mixed light to dark. So this is a heavy body Liquitex. The recommendation from Liquitex is to use a medium body with about a cup of paint, but I wanted um, some more pigment in, in this painting. I have mixed up a larger cup that has a little bit thinner mixture to be our background. And I'm going to pour through a three-hole Parmesan cheese jar. And we're going to just experiment with this. All right, so I realize, I realize it's really hard to get the full painting into my mix, into my video. Sorry about that. But I'm going to start with stacking my cups. I am going to put white in the bottom first. Or it's actually not a cup. It's, it is a jar. And I'm pouring down the side on purpose. And what's nice about this is if I end up not having enough, I just go ahead and mix some more. I'm going to go try to go for three in a stack. And I'm stacking them in order. Um, lightest to darkest. I'm not sure if that's what I should do. But like I said, I'm just making this up as I go along. You see how I'm stacking that? Now this is the first time that I've used all Liquitex products, only Liquitex products, for a painting. I have attempted to use my Liquitex with other kinds of paints and I was not pleased with the results. So let's see how it works all by itself. If it works well, then that's a good thing. It is pretty and shiny at this point. So. All right, I wanted to show you before we begin that I have stacked my layers all in my Parmesan cheese bottle and it is ready to go. I'm going to let it, let it set with the lid open for a minute while I do my background. All right, so my background is very large. So I have decided at, to actually spread some of my white, thin down white mixture and I'm going to actually mix in some Artist Loft um, Ready Mix Silver around the outside edges only, just to see if that brings up some cells in my Delft pattern, okay?
All right, so here is our painting. Now it is still kind of settling. And I do believe it looks like the ocean. I was kind of thinking more Delft, but there's not a lot of white in it. So next time, next painting, I'll try to do almost all white with a little bit of blue. Maybe that will get me into the Amsterdam mood again.